Yeah, hello everybody, it's Pretty Gaming here, and welcome to another scripted video. Yes, like most of you know, I do scripted videos about important things only, and today's important topic is making diamonds in Dragon Russia and how you can grind for diamonds as well. But before we start with this interesting topic, I would like for you to subscribe to my channel, leave a like on the video, and join my Discord. Link of the Discord is in the description below, and while you're there, press on the member link too, so you can see some awesome perks of becoming a channel member. But let's continue with how to easily make diamonds in Dragon Raja. So there will be a lot of topics in this video that you already know of, but hey, I have to go through all of them, so get your snacks and drinks and start listening. First topic is the career system. Yes, this is where you can get a bunch of daily diamonds, the diamond gain increases with every time you get a higher rank in the career system. So don't slack like I did and get those diamonds. Oh, and the way you would get these diamonds is easy. For example, go in cuisine, kitchen and sell to make food or drinks and then sell them on the market. For the superstar career, go to superstar, goods and hypermarket to make some cool things and sell them on the market as well. And if you have the open shop unlocked, then it is pretty easy for you to make diamonds with this career. Just open the shop, make some goods and invite your friends so they can buy your stuff for free. Okay, so to make diamonds from the career system, you want to go to career and then go to cuisines or superstar depending on what you have. For now, I will go to cuisines, go to the kitchen button over here, press on the sell thing right here and make something. Of course, for, for right now, I have only the ingredients for the cream of mushroom, but then you want to press backup and process. When you press on process, the gym will take you to the kitchen. When you process these things right here, aka the things you can make and the things you pressed backup on and after a while I think it's 50 seconds you will have to wait a bit more than like half an hour or even 50 minutes depending on the ingredient you want to sell and then you can claim it from the career shop again and over here you will see a claim button next up I will cancel this now next up is for the superstar career of course the same thing goes here you go in goods and you find anything you can actually make so for right now I can make single window records I press on add, produce, the game will take me to the studio, let's see what happens next. And after a while, I will actually produce that thing and of course, you will be able to sell it after you claim it as well. So yeah, that is pretty much it on how you make diamonds from the career system. Next topic is going to be Drown Slayer. Although many of you have already gotten all of the rewards, but I think most of you are still struggling with getting all of the rewards. What I would recommend is to switch to Gunslinger to get the most of the clear rewards and after that switch to Blade Master to get the rank rewards. The reason why you want to switch to Blade Masters is because Blade Master is not played too often in PvE so you can easily get rank 1 and if you can't then ask the whales to let you get rank 1 at least once. Ok so this is the way on how you can see when you're gonna make diamonds so you go to Dragon Slayer and then press on bonus and over here you can see the first clear rewards. Now, of course, I'm not sure if you all know this, but you can only get diamonds up until you clear Elite Challenge C. After that, there is no reward that gives diamonds, okay? So up until Challenge C, you want to try your best to, you know, clear the stages as much as possible. And of course, I think every C stage gives you a bunch of diamonds. Yep, normal C and over here recruit challenge C but the ranking rewards you can get them by doing this so every time on the server when you rank higher and higher and higher so for example 91 to 100 81 to 90 71 to 80 you will get a reward however this is only a one-time thing per server so yeah as you can see here I have gotten highest ranking one this is by going to blade master and of course uh, because no one was blade master at the time I took advantage of that and got rank one However, if you can't do that, then just ask the whales, aka the rank 1 players, on the on the list right here. So, ask them if you can get rank 1 tomorrow, right? So, that is pretty easy to do, not gonna lie. You won't have much hard time. Of course, if the players are actually good and want to help you as well. Next up is the daily events and activity chests. Yes, you get a lot of diamonds just by doing our daily events. However, you only get guaranteed diamonds from the activity chest, but you can get a lot of nice stuff from the daily missions as well, like costumes, orange emblems, listable stabilized shards, evolution genes, 
draconics and much more stuff. Speaking of all of these things, you always want to sell anything that is listable. The reason behind this is that the system buys everything when you sell it for 10% or sometimes even 20% as well. The only things the system does not buy for a higher price are things you sell in the treasure section of the store. So whenever you get those draconic scrolls, orange emblems, stability shards and etc, you want to sell them with at least a 10% higher price. And hey, you can always buy the same thing for a lower price, meaning you just make profit. Now how to make profit easily from things you can sell, like for a low amount. So you go to here and find anything that is listable. For me, it's evolution genes. You can find eternal flames, stabilized shards, and many more things like draconic scrolls as well. Then you go to the store, you press this plus at least once, recommended price is plus 10% and it will be 11, right? So after you do that, in time, the system will buy your stuff and as you can see here, if I go to the store and I try to find the pet stuff, let's see, yes, evolution genes, you can actually find them for 10. Okay, so this is mine right here for 11, but when it sells, I will actually get 11 diamonds instead of just 10. And that means if I ever want to buy evolution genes, I will actually be in profit instead. Okay, next up are timed events. Again, you won't get much guaranteed diamonds off of these events, but you will get listable items. So again, you can easily make profit by selling the items at a higher price and buying them for a lower one. By the way, I won't talk about TikTok anxiety, anecdotes, achievements, wishing tree events, or some events that appear after some updates like the witch event, festival event, and etc. I feel like most of you know that you can get nice stuff from there, so yeah, I won't talk about those. Another really nice but kinda unfair way to make diamonds is by participating in, in a letter of honor. The rewards are absolutely insane but hard to get because of the unfairness of the matchmaking system. But if you get to at least platinum each season, you are set to get some nice and cool rewards. Ok, now letter of honor, we go to timed events and press on letter of honor and press on bonus. When you press on bonus, you can see all of these are bonus rewards and you can get all of these. So let, let's say for example, I reach platinum 3, I can claim this if I'm platinum 3, but I have to play at least 6 times in this squad. Ok, if I don't play, like I did not today of course, so we reach diamond and if I played 6 times today, I would have been able to get all of these rewards over here so from diamond one and a lower ranks and then result rewards are the are the monthly rewards of course again you have to play at least six, at least six times in your squad but this is only one time thing you don't get all of these boxes but you only get one and we I today I literally got this last month's tier reward which was diamond one and as, as you can see here you get a lot of cool stuff if you reach for example diamond platinum one you can get this stuff. So yes, you do get a lot of nice rewards from Letter of Honor 2. Even if you're free to play team, try to get to Platinum 1 and you will do fine. But thank you for staying in this video for this long. And at this point, I will talk about the best way to make diamonds. But it requires grinding and time. And that is by making alternative accounts on the same server. I will explain how to do this now. You want to make a completely new email. And on the login screen, you will see a small person with a redirect icon and press on that. Then press login and switch account. Once you press on the switch account, you instantly want to press on the back button of your device, but just one so it does not automatically log you in to your existing account. Then just log in with a new email and you're done. Now you can play on the same server with a different account and character, but this is just the first step. The grindy part comes here. You want to do at least dailies on that character too, so you can slowly but surely get some diamonds. And by the point you get around 8k diamonds, you are set. You will want to wait and get an orange iconic on your main account, sell it for the highest price, but keep in mind, you can still buy other people's Joconics, so you want to make sure you buy your own. And to do that, you want to place a Joconic in the store and instantly go back to your alt account and there you can follow it. The way you can easily see your own Joconic is by the notice period. The highest note spirit means that that is your own draconic. You follow that draconic and after the note spirit ends, you buy it at the highest price and tada, you have almost 80 diamonds more than you already did on your main character. 
That was simple, right? But that is what most free to plays would do. But I have something for the pay to win players as well. Remember when I said you have to create a new ML? Well, yes, there are two reasons for that. First reason is that you actually must, otherwise you can't buy your own items for the, from the same account. But the second reason is that you can buy investment packs on your alt account and basically transfer the diamonds on your main by using the method I mentioned above. Okay, now this is the most important and I guess grindy part as I said. So how you actually transfer diamonds between accounts is like this. So you can see over here, I have uh, Northern Draconic on my main account. So what I do is list this But to be safe you want to go so let's say right now I have unbreakable will draconic right with the level 80 code I go to store and I see the treasure right? I see rare draconics and go to clothes I see that actually no one is selling unbreakable will so I'm completely safe to place this on the highest price Let's do that Highest price is 7.5k diamonds right i list it for sale and it has a notice period of 18 hours so tomorrow i will be able to buy this on my out account however to go to my out account you will have to do this if you're already in game you want to go to settings and switch accounts right let's see what happens next okay so login right now i'm playing on emulator we're playing on an emulator as well so all you have to do is Press on login, switch account, press sign in with Google, you want to immediately press this. And as you can see right now, we are logged out. And if I press sign in on Google, of course, I will blur this out completely. But here we can either add accounts, add another account or switch between accounts. Right now, I'm going to go to my alt account. And here we go. So I'm on my alt account, as you can see here, it's level 75 or 76, let me see, yeah, it's 76. Okay, let's log in right now, I'm gonna zoom in the screen, of course. Let's see what happens now, okay, loading, 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 and we are here in the game. I'm on exactly the same server, server 8 time phantom, but as you can see here, I don't have enough diamonds, so I won't show you how to buy the thing. But I will show you how to find it. So you go in mall. Okay, let's go in mall. You go to store. And you go to treasure. And you look for your, you know, draconic that you sold. And right now I am looking for unbreakable will. As you can see here, there is only unbreakable, one unbreakable will in the store. With 18 hours left almost. I press on that and I press on follow. And whenever I get the notice period finish. I guess when the notice period finishes. I will get kind of a notification over here on the mall, like this red dot right here, and it will show up over here as well. So keep in mind, yeah, here you can see favorites, it will show up over here, and you can buy it later on. Right now I don't have any diamonds, so I cannot really show you that, but this is basically the process. Um, I don't have many diamonds because <laughs> I, I'm quite lazy when it comes to this, so yeah, but you can actually do all the dailies and stuff as well. So it is really easy to level up and you know from dailies you can get emblems and stuff like that so it is pretty easy to get some diamonds here as well. It's not that hard of a thing since you don't spend at all, you don't want to upgrade anything or spend diamonds on anything as well. You just want to grind for those diamonds at least doing dailies or you can even do timed events if you have an emulator and a phone and you can actually play on the phone with this account and on the emulator you can play on your main account and do all of those weekly events as well like yakuza peak contest haunted nights defend the boss bombs and, 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 and etc so yeah that's pretty much it about this menu making guide and be right back so yeah everyone that is pretty much it about the ways to make diamonds i hope you enjoyed the video Subscribe for more Join Roger content, like the video if you enjoyed, join my Discord and press on the join button to see some awesome perks. But until next time, bye bye and see ya!